Hey y'all, hey y'all. Welcome to my channel. This is Straight Facts Commentary where I give you my unpopular opinions in everything pop culture. So please, please, please stick around and subscribe for more. And to the rest of you, to the rest of you, the non-believers, the underachievers, the tweet and deleters, you guys make me sick to my stomachs, fam. Honestly, if you guys want to look in my eyes, you guys want to do something? You guys... That's what I thought. No, that's what I thought. Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. Hey y'all, I'm back again with another video. And in today's video, you seen the title. You seen the title. So we're gonna go ahead and talk about this. Um I just saw some things online and I was just interested to talk about it and see what's really going on. Kind of break down what the fans think, what Nikki is saying. Just interesting, okay? Um, like, comment, share, subscribe if you haven't already. Please do that. Thank you. Love you. And let's go ahead and get into this video. So, Nicki Minaj has been on Twitter recently, okay? And she has made a couple of tweets that seem to be speaking about some industry-related things that could be happening behind the scenes. She's not really saying too much, but she's saying enough to get people kind of having a discourse about it, a conversation about it. And me, I love music industry conversation. I love female rap. I love pop. I love hip-hop. I love indie. I love a lot of shit. But one of my favorite shit to talk about okay it's music industry conspiracies and also female rap those are two things i love the most okay so when i saw these tweets i was like okay what's really going on so i want to talk about it i want to see what the fans have to say about it or what we think could possibly be going on here if anything at all the fans are saying that the industry is trying to take Nicki minaj out again and that is what Nicki Minaj is alluding to in these tweets that she had put out the other day. And at first when I saw these like speculations going around, I was like, well, what could be possibly going on? Okay, like Nicki Minaj just released uh, an album, even though it wasn't my favorite album of hers. She just released an album that sold really well. Um, no other rap girls have really put out any albums. Nobody's really doing anything. Nicki Minaj is the one who's kind of putting out the work right now. And she's sold a lot and she outsold Doja Cat's album. Like She's doing good. So what kind of industry or concerted efforts are going on? She seems to be on top as of right now, right? So this is one of the tweets that I found really interesting. It says, imagine you get hired to a prestigious company and they say, okay, your job is to create a bar page and pretend to be a bar for as long as possible and give us updates every day. We'll advise when it's time to try to dismantle shit. Child, this is some real CIA things. Gag. So when I read that, I was like, wait, what? So... I think I do believe that there might be something going on only because the Barb's and Nicki Minaj's fan base is so strong and they are the largest, like, let's just keep it 100% honest, regardless if you're a Barb or not, they are the largest female rap fan base that there is. They are the most impactful female rap fan base that there is um, in present day. Okay, so I honestly would not be surprised if there is some weird stuff going on behind the scenes industry wise to try to get into the fan base to see what's going on because Nicki Minaj is the strongest. Let's just keep it 100% honest and I'm not even a part of it at all. I'm not a barb at all, but I can acknowledge that she is on the top at, you know, she's the top of the top. Okay. So when I saw that tweet, I know a lot of people were seeing like some of the tweets and were like, oh my gosh, you're Nicki Minaj, go again. But I could believe it. Now, if she was somebody who was a female rapper who isn't that impactful, doesn't have a lot going on, does not have the amount of fans and support that she has, I would probably brush it off too, okay? But I wouldn't be surprised, okay? A lot of the girls really aren't selling like that. They're not. So if there is some weird stuff going on behind the scenes to try to get into the fan base to see what's going on and see what they could do or see what they could find out, I'm not really going to be shocked by that. Another tweet I found really interesting. We have to get her off the internet in order to have full access to her fan base. We have to get her fans to stop promoting because the others don't and won't ever have that. We spent too much money without return. Ooh, we need the barbs to stop promoting her and start promoting the duds pink friday too mm. okay now that's kind of interesting and i don't keep up with Nicki minaj rants on twitter because i know that most of the time that's for her and the barbs and they're just kiki and they're just talking and i don't know what they be talking about nine times out of ten right but certain things i do pay attention to and i i do keep up with and that was really interesting to me 
okay? And the only reason why it's as interesting as it is is because so far, the girls aren't really doing anything like that right now. Nicki Minaj is the one who set the, the pace for this upcoming year, 2024, when it comes to female rap albums and music as of right now. Other than Doja Cat, you know, she's been doing good. She had to paint the town red, um, go number one. She has Agora Hills. Like, that. that's doing good. But other than that, the album performance didn't keep up. So, you know, then we have other girls who are supposed to be dropping this year like Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion, um, Ice Spice. There's a there's a few, Lotto, I think. There's a few girls who are supposed to be dropping. And if I want to be honest with y'all, as much as I do love the other girls, um, I don't know if they're going to do 200 and whatever K Nicki Minaj did. She did, somebody remind me, y'all know, she did in the 200s, 200K first week. I don't see a Lotto doing that. I don't see Megan doing that. I don't see, I mean, we'll see with Cardi we'll see. Um, Ice Spice, I don't know. We'll see. Here's another tweet that I found interesting. We can't compete with how great her music is. What can we attack? She still looks gorgeous. We can't compete with her authentic personality in these interviews. Clones in our labs can't quite capture it. The people we pay to talk badly about her are starting to fear her prophecies. Another really interesting tweet. Okay, so what do you guys think about this? Do you think that there is some kind of agenda going on? Do you think there's a push going on? Do you think that the record labels are trying to figure out what to do to try to boost the sales or the attention of the other girls? Do you think that that's a thing? Or do you think it's just Nicki Minaj rambling on Twitter to her fans? What do you think? I think Nicki Minaj does ramble on Twitter to her fans. But in this case, of this particular situation, mm, I don't know if she's just rambling only because you know, the sales aren't really salesing for a lot of these other girls and their fan bases for the most part. So there might be a little bit of something to these rants, okay? So you guys let me know what you think. I am excited for 2024. I'm excited to see what the girls do. I'm excited to see what everybody brings because I, again, I love female rap. I love music. So I'm excited, but I'm also interested to see how the year is going to go sales-wise for all of our faves, you know? I'm very interested to see what the numbers are going to be, um, what the reception is going to be for certain people's albums and singles. Like, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready for Female Rap 2024. So let me know what you guys think about this whole situation. It's very interesting. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.